Hey, what it do, y'all? It's your boy E2 Blue coming back at you again on this Friday. And breaking news, breaking news. The Dallas Cowboys fired defensive coordinator Mike Nolan. Now, <laughs> we talked about this since this team started having troubles. Whether we were going to keep Mike Nolan or not, we know that Mike McCarthy um, originally signed Mike Nolan. Well, brought his guy in because he owed him a favor. We know that we look at defenses that he's had in the past outside of the Ravens ones, but that one, that defense was given to him. Um, he didn't do well with the 49ers. He didn't do well with other teams he was with. You go back and look at Mike Nolan's track record; is not really that great. And when they first hired him, I said, okay. I was only okay with it in the beginning, and, and you guys go back and look at the video. I was only okay with it in the, in the beginning of the season because he said, and and the whole coaching staff said, that they were going to fit the scheme into what the players do, not the other way around. But then I was kind of curious about that because I'm like, we know that Mike Nolan is a 3-4 guy. We know that this defense is a 4-3. You have personnel for 4-3. Who is – gets paid the most. Who's the leader of your defense? We know that's DeMarcus Lawrence. DeMarcus Lawrence is a 4-3 guy. So whatever your leader is on your defense, that's what you put your defense scheme to be predicated upon. You, There's only two guys on this defense, and I've been saying this all season, there's only two guys on this defense right now that can play a 3-4, and that's Randy Gregory and Alden Smith. That's it. Those are the only two guys. And you you – he tried to do this hybrid thing. He tried to do this, tried to do this. These guys are not the, that type of players. We don't have the linebacker core for a 3 4. So, why are you trying to put a circle into a square peg? It's not going to fit. You brought Everson Griffin in here, and I think Everson Griffin is, is a really good defensive end. I wish he was still here, but again, you're trying to force something. That's probably why. Um, all this, I mean, um, Everson Griffin was talking all that mess because he was like, this defensive coordinator is trash, bro. Um, Daryl Worley said the same thing. All the other guys that got cut in the beginning of the season said, ha ha, Clint Dick said it. He didn't even, he didn't even get to play the season because he was talking. But if your players are saying this, don't just cut them. Understand that that damn defensive coordinator was the reason why. And I know some of you guys do like Mike Nolan or whatever, but he had to go. He had to go because at the end of the day, you even when the Cowboys started playing better down the stretch, we were still getting gashed in a running game. The teams were just running up the gut on us like it wasn't nothing. Mike Nolan wasn't making no adjustments when it comes to that particular situation, and we were just getting run on all day. Ran the fuck on. I mean, we, we are historically at a low right now when it comes to that. I mean – I, I think we hit a franchise record of of how bad our defense was this year. As far as um, teams running the ball on us, that is. In the running game, it's terrible. And Mike Nolan's the head of that. You you are the coordinator. So you can't just come in here trying to switch things around. What is the first thing he did when he first came in here? Um, when he changed personnel. He took Jalen Smith and he moved Jalen Smith to middle linebacker, and then he took Leighton Vander and she put him on the outside. No, no, I'm sorry. Other way around. He they they took Jalen Smith and put Jalen Smith on the outside, and they had Leighton Vander in the middle. Leighton Vander makes plays on the outside. We know that. You know that Jalen Smith. Can't, is is not a guy that is going to play the outside because he has that drop foot. That drop foot is always going to be an issue for him. So you're going to slide him back on the inside. That's where Jalen played better. You remember when, when we had Marinelli here, when Jalen played better, we didn't have an issue with Jalen's play. We we said, oh, Jalen's out there making plays. Leighton Vander Ash looks like a monster. The Wolf Hunter. You remember when they were doing the howls? That was when they were in their right positions. But then you switched them. Sorry for making that mistake. It's just uh, it's a lot going on. But, yeah, um, when they switched them and they put Leighton Vanderish in the middle and Jalen Smith on the outside, that didn't make sense. 
You you want Leighton to be on the outside. You want him to make those plays. I understand that Leighton Vander Esch is like your quarterback, and the norm, in most defenses, the quarterback of the defense is always in the middle. But it's it's fine. He can still call it from the outside. It doesn't matter. Um, but that's the thing. You switch their positions for what? Now you you set them back a year. Now you got us fans looking at them like they suck. I really don't. I'll be honest with you. I really don't think that the players that we have on this team suck per se. I, because we've seen them play better in Marinelli's system. Even though Marinelli's system was outdated with that Tampa 2 and, and, and the lack of adjustments and how easy it was, they still play better in that. And and I told you guys, I'm an advocate. I don't just, just jump off the bandwagon on things like some fans do. I, I, I look at it from a different perspective. We've seen Jalen play better. We've seen Leighton play better. We know what Sean Lee can do. Even Sean Lee struggled in this defense. And Sean Lee studies like a motherfucker all day, every day. So there's no way you're going to tell me that all of a sudden these guys just drop off talent all of a sudden. These same guys. Even Demarcus Lawrence didn't play well in the beginning. He didn't start getting it to the end. We've seen we've seen Jordan Lewis play even better than what we've seen him play. We've seen Chidabe Wouzier play better. We've seen um, Anthony Brown play better, even though Anthony Brown didn't play that bad this year. But still, we've seen all of these guys play better on this defense before. But then Nolan comes in here to try to switch everything up. You, you should have never tried to do all that switch, especially in the COVID year. You should have kept things how they were. And if you're not the guy to do it, you should have never been hired. That's how I feel about it. Mike Nolan should have should have never been hired in the first place to be the defensive coordinator because we all know that he's a 3-4 guy and we have 4-3 personnel. Now, who's going to replace him? That's the biggest question. I know the news just came out like just now. So um, they're probably going to – I mean, knowing the Cowboys, they're probably going to get a guy from within. You got George Edwards right there. He was um, – the the old defensive coordinator from he's already on the staff he's a senior defensive advisor he came from the vikings he was the former defensive coordinator for the vikings why not just go ahead and slide him in that spot he does a 4-3 so he understands how 4-3 defenses go he was the vikings guy he he was everson griffin's coach and and i and i wish that everson griffin was still here but now he's with the lions so you're gonna tell me that everson griffin couldn't do nothing here, but then all of a sudden he goes to the Lions and he's, his sack total literally doubled from when he was here? Come on. Come on. It, it's common sense. It's the scheme. And, you know, I, I, don't, I hate to see people lose their jobs, but it is what it is. He, he had to go. And, and we could have probably made it to the playoffs if this defense played the last four games all season long. If they would have done that, we'd have been good. But because of that situation – we're stuck in this situation. Now, I, I feel like they're going to probably move George Edwards up to be the coordinator. Or they could get somebody outside. I know that they um, they interviewed Marvin Lewis at one point in time. I really like him. I like Marvin Lewis. Of course, everybody likes Mike Singletary. But I know some of these coaches are still with other teams. And, you know, but we'll see what happens. Um, but um, I, this, was, this is going to be good news to some fans. And other fans are not going to. Uh, like it as much. I know Tamira is the only one I know that really fuck with Mike Nolan like that. But I mean, I just if you're gonna come in here and and do things like that, it's not gonna be beneficial to the team. And if the team is not doing what they need to be doing to win games, then you gotta go, bro. Six and ten can't do that. And then when you bring Dak Prescott back, you we're not gonna have to sit here and ask him to score thirty points a game just to win because the defense not doing their job. That's a no no. That's a no no. Um, can't do that. That's not anything that I want on my team at all. I want this team to be good. I want this team to, because again, we have a dynamic offense. And what we're going to be talking about, since we're picking 10th, we'll talk more about the draft. We've got plenty of time for that. But because we're still in playoffs right now, even though the Cowboys not in it, the, the season is still on. Um, it's just over for us. <laughs> so we're all just thinking in the future. But um, understand that us picking 10, um, there's, there's a couple of guys that you could get. Or you could just trade back. But for now, we got to see what we're going to do as a defensive coordinator. That's going to change what they're going to do in the offseason. They might keep some of the guys that maybe y'all thought that were going to go because of that reason. Because they probably think that, oh, well, these guys weren't playing well because they were in this particular system. And this scheme didn't work for them. But we'll see. We'll be talking more about that. And I'm going to give you my knowledge because, like I said, I do a lot of research on these things. And um, 
on the players and everything. And I understand how the dynamics change from scheme to scheme and, and how they play from year to year. So with that being said, y'all, um, let me know what y'all think about Mike Nolan being fired. It's your boy, YouTube Blue, always keeping it real. Peace.